It's out with the old and in with the new on this edition of Ward Wednesdays as we talk about hooking up some of these new reservoirs now completed to the pipeline. We're here in Fort George Heights with one of them, the biggie right behind us, and it's currently full. So that is some good news to tell us a bit more about what is happening with these reservoirs as they get up and running. We have Jamal Brathwaite, he's an engineer at the Barbados Water Authority working very closely with these projects. So this is not the only one that is now connected to the system. Uh, well, we have Lodge Hill and Bosque Bell. They're in different stages of the sanitization and the leak detection process. Um, Lodge Hill is probably going to be one that's to be connected next, and then Bosque Bell. But this one is definitely connected to the system now. All the work here is completed and good to go. Okay, so what can we expect now that we got this new one? It replaces the old one right next to it here at Fort George. So sanitized, completed, connected. What next? Well, the next step here at the for a jar site is to decommission the old tank. Um, it's a little aged, and so we're going to have that cut down and discarded. And then eventually another tank is going to be built here to increase the capacity of storage in this area. Wow, uh, that must be good news for residents who are served from yes. this system. What can they expect? Because I know there is a, a work in progress. You got to get these reservoirs connected to systems where you got new pipelines as well to ensure that there are less leaks in the system. But what improvements can residents in these areas that this reservoir serves expect? Well, in the event of a hurricane, uh, we have to disconnect or turn off our pumping systems. The reservoir serves as capacity, storage capacity for the environs. What happens is that in the, the days after the hurricane, uh, we can supply water here by gravity to the areas surrounding this tank and until we get our pumping systems up. Hmm. So there'll be a little lag before people actually realize that our systems are down. Hopefully we get them back up in time that they will not miss the water. Okay, so that water gravity fed to the residents in some of these surrounding districts yes. that we are seeing right here. Talk about those other two that are being connected that you're working on and talk about the benefits that will accrue to those residents in those areas, Lodge Hill and further afield. Yes, well the tank at uh, Bosque Bell is also aged. So our intention is that once the new tank is in service, that will be cut down also. So it's a safety issue. Um, and then a new tank is going to be built there eventually. Mm -hmm. At Lodge Hill, the tank that the existing tank at Lodge Hill is will get some remedial work. So once that's completed, they'll have two tanks of similar capacity um, in use down there. Okay, so you're talking about now because you're saying two tank, two tanks. Yeah. In a number of these areas, we will have two tanks instead of one. We had one here at. Uh, Fort George. There are now two. Both are, are in use yes. and that one will be replaced eventually. Yes. Those are the two communities, Lodge Hill and in St. Peter. You're looking at uh, two tanks as well. Yes, what does that mean in terms of capacity? Well, the capacity will be doubled and again, this is all part of the overall process of bettering the system. This would inc include new tanks, new pumping systems, new desalination plants, etc. So in order, to, in, in order to boost the supply to the country, um, everything needs to work together. Okay, and when you talk about two tanks, that means I'm thinking, I'm figuring, and we're all praying for less water outages right across the island, especially the areas which these reservoirs serve. Jamal, thank you again for sharing with us on this edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or our previous episode again, you know you can visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. Go to our Instagram and Facebook pages for additional information and updates or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You can definitely find us there. You can help prevent sewage issues. Use strainers and sink drains and floor drains. Dispose grease and oils correctly. Stop, think, before you put it down the sink. A message from the Barbados Water Authority. For more information on the proper disposal of waste, go to www.barbadiswaterauthority.com and like us on Facebook.